So Phaedra Parks is now returning to the Housewives of Atlanta. Now, what are our thoughts on her return to the show? Do we I'm care or do we not care? Uh, when you put it that way, it's just well for me to say that I do care. But um, I'm somewhat mild um, or mid here for her going back to um, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Um, who else there gonna be ring the drama because we don't have a Kenny more anymore? Um, it's I, I, if it's left up to Portia, uh, I, I, don't, I don't see it happening. If it's a left up to Drew or any one of the new girls, I don't see it happening. So, mm. why not just bring back an OG? Who else to call? Um. There's, I feel like they ain't got no choice though. Or they they they're just running out of um they ain't options. got no option nobody they're running out of options and they I feel like they need something for the season for sweet uh sweet sixteen what else they gonna bring it's I feel like it's gonna be boring yeah um for think? me I'm indifferent for it because the fact that we had that that lady joined married to medicine and she mm -hmm. literally brought nothing to the show then mm, child mm -hmm, yeah it was like, funny though it uh, was there's funny. so much there is so much for a season <laughs> that i can take of mm, child and like we need person and i think what made phaedra great when she was on housewives says yes she was still a bit guarded mm -hmm. But she had like someone like an Apollo and she had somewhat of her personal life unraveling. And then, yes, it's good to see the whole freaking frat back together. But that's not what I'm watching Housewives for, to see your ad libs that you add to everybody's mm -hmm. conversation. So if you're going to come back and are good. share. Right, confessions are, are always gonna... good. But I don't <laughs> think that will necessarily save atlanta because you're coming back and you're going to basically just give us some ad libs mm -hmm. like that's not i feel like there's to nothing the gonna show. save and atlanta I'm, as far as i I'm, think they I should just get rid of the whole entire franchise and, a, and put it point, on a sleeping sleeping hiatus at this point till someone really 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 dives back into that show because I am just going off of when everybody wanted her back on the show and she didn't come mm -hmm. back on the show. She came married to medicine and she came onto that show and made a complete disaster of herself. She was like someone's auntie on the cast. Like she was just like a plus one to me. Yeah. And literally lying over it. there talking about she was dating a doctor. She was just probably yeah. saying that line just to be on the show because, you and know, you got to be know married to medicine. And that's what we know mm -hmm. from Phaedra since recently. She is not giving anything personal in her life. I don't know what True. happened in her life. What really shook her <laughs> to where she started to be so guarded. You'd have thought as a lawyer in the beginning, she probably would have been that guarded, but she was a bit more mm -hmm. open. She and Kenya got into it. And I think what is making Atlanta not so good is they keep bringing in back these faces to make the good old glory days when it was... Portia, Kenya, Nini, Cynthia, Phaedra, I believe Candy, when that was Marlo. like season six. And Marlo was a friend off. But friend when off, that yeah. was like, when that was basically, um, they keep bringing these persons in thinking that's going to save the show. And we have mm -hmm. to look where these persons are in their current life because I think most of them have really outgrown the show. And when you have yeah. outgrown the show, there is no way for them to save the show because once you hadn't grown the show, you're no longer giving personal story. You're just coming in trying yeah. to look good for your audience or trying to look good for your brand. You're not necessarily giving us any personal stories what made us love you or made us love the show or the franchise when they were more open with their life. Yeah. No, we're just getting... PR stunts. This is me PR coming on, and, uh... giving you the best parts of my life because I don't want to fuck this bag up outside of the show because and disingenuous I beef. Away. Yes. So yeah. I'm not necessarily behind the train. I will watch maybe a couple episodes. But I, again, based on the time she's coming in, I'm assuming she is not necessarily going to be at the beginning of the season. She's going to be more like the mid season. Mid season, because, yeah. yeah. On their cast trip. And allegedly, she should be basically going on that cast trip. So I'm, I'm assuming, just like any Housewives franchise, we watch the first half and then we get that mid season trailer. And I believe that's when we will see Phaedra at the 
based Scully because she seems like she's coming in mid-season. And I hope that if that's the way, then are we going to get Kenya's scenes in the first part of the season? I feel, or... I feel so. I hope so. I hope so, honestly. Because if they should remove all our scenes and... Because yes. they're gonna have to remove scenes for other girls too, girls that she had like um scenes with. It's just so with, th- it's gonna right. be boring. It's I'm it's kind of fearful boring. for this for the views for this season, and it is yes. crazy because it was some excuse me, it was somewhat a build up to it because you know people are looking forward to it because it's the season sixteen or sweet sixteen, right? So I feel like that's crazy. <sighs> it's unsaid. Excuse it me. is crazy and sad. Crazy and sad. I'm, yeah. I'm like, at this point, Atlanta, you're just going. I don't know if it's the Nini effect, but from Nini has left that show and called out all right. of the shit with that show. The viewership and everything just started to go down. And mm-hmm. no matter what they try to do, it doesn't work. They went on this long hiatus before starting filming for the scenes into where they lost candy because everybody had too many time on their hands they were like you know what do you I think though to sorry to cut you but do you think a, a full <laughs> reboot would even save the show i don't um so the thing with atlanta why i think they didn't do a full <laughs> reboot is because mm-hmm. it's one of those shows that is very different from the rest just like how we heard allegedly new jersey is getting a full ass reboot which i've never mm-hmm. thought i would have seen coming because Teresa was this you know the front center of that show for me for atlanta i think the reason why they couldn't do a full reboot is because they maybe thought that they would have lost more viewership because no we are not getting no one that we are familiar mm-hmm. with who brought mm-hmm. something to the show all of them are gone so i think that's why they went this route where they had like kenya and porsche as the spare you know at the top yeah. dogs basically with these newbies um a full reboot at this point we'll have to see how this season actually goes to see if this and the girls that they, that they choose to as well to give a peach yes. to because i'm not necessarily here for the new girls that they got now I, I really exactly. I, maybe because I'm I really don't know them that much, but I've looked them up on uh, Instagram and it's, it's and they're giving me love and hip hop Atlanta. Yeah, so, so I don't know. I'm not sure if this will necessarily be a a flop, but if this season works and the ratings is great, the cast meshes together as how they are trying to pump this up by saying, "Oh my God, mm-hmm. there are so many." If it really works. Then go up, go on to into the sunset with the current cast what they have right now. But yeah. if we get back to season sixteen for this long period of time of filming and nothing works, then a full reboot. I'm sure the bigger heads are going to really look on and say, you know what, we had a need to put this show on pause, which meaning putting it on pause means people that mm-hmm. it's not cancelled, but it may be a couple of years before you see another house size of atlanta until they figure some shit out <laughs> or they will really have to look into getting a full re- revamp recast yeah. of the things. and what is killing atlanta for me is we keep bringing in and i know we can't do what we did how many years ago when it just started but they keep bringing in too many influencers and too many these yeah. types of people I think that's what's killing the show because, again, these girls are coming on. They don't really are housewives. They claim they're married and their husband has the money. But realistically, they're on Instagram, basically IG models. And this is their work. And they're coming on modeling, pretty much modeling Mm -hmm. for the cameras. They're modeling into a scene. They're modeling in a, they're modeling when it's a fight scene. They're ensuring that they have their good angles, everything. It's nothing is authentic anymore. And I think that's why persons are tuning out from especially Atlanta because they keep bringing in persons that or models. Not saying you need to bring in no, um, known people because when it just started, mm-hmm. we didn't know any of these ladies. People in Atlanta maybe have known them, but the world itself, no one knew who these people were. No, they keep bringing in, and I think it's the candy effect because candy was like the first household name they brought mm-hmm. into a house like that. And since then, it's like they need to find the who's who the of who's what who. everybody to bring in. And I'm like, that's not what a housewife should be, to my knowledge. It should be persons who maybe had wealthy husbands and they're literally wealthy husbands, right? 
and like and all the fabulousness the they need to go back to they need to go back basics. they need to go back to to, to basics back back to originals yes. where they were living fabulous lives and you know nice house yeah and the cars and all of that and i like, instead of like exactly. putting on a show putting on a show for tv because it's reality tv huh? we should be seeing your life and your day-to-day -day and, and stuff that you do instead of like literally staging beefs and and all of that because oh, what it's, else it's, it's, aside from it's boring it's, it's what boring. Else is going on what else what is else going is, on what else, what else? <laughs> what else is right. going on? Because at, at this point, I am just really zoned out from what they are actually giving. And I really do hope they actually get this shit together because we are getting bored as the audience. There's yeah. too many stuff being leaked online where we literally feel like we are watching the show on social media before mm -hmm. the show even aired. So what are we going to be watching when it actually airs? We don't know. Well, hopefully this is a good move for them. I uh, hopefully yeah. this was a good move for them adding uh Phaedra to the um back back to the franchise. Uh, hopefully she brings something that to say yes, okay, all right. Mm. But I don't know. I'm I'm a bit know, scared but... for them, but that's it. Yeah, Basically. but guys, let me know what are your thoughts of Phaedra returning to the show. Do you think it will make the show or break the show? Do you think that she's going to give us the same energy that she came on to Married to Medicine with? Or do you think she's going to go back to her roots because she's with her people? Which mm. is only really at this point, Portia. Portia. She was on the show with Drew. And Cynthia is just a Cynthia friend. Cynthia is a friend, show. yeah. Cynthia would be the only person she's familiar with, so she would just be hanging with this bunch of new people. The thing about Phaedra, though, I ain't going because we were about to wrap this shit up. But like the thing about Phaedra, she's somewhat a girly girl, and she loved to mingle with the young girls. So yes, I'm, I'm here to young. see that. Yeah, yeah, you know, her fashion is all you know uh, up to date and all of that. So I want to see her in uh, reactions or our encounters with the new girls. Maybe it might be good. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might be bad. But so maybe she have something to bring back to the show. Maybe. But let's see. We'll see. Maybe. Let's see. Let's hope. But let me know, guys, in the comment section what your thoughts were on it. Do you agree with any with both of us in our thoughts on it? If not, mm -hmm. share as well what you think if you really think she's going to bring the show and bring the ratings back up but remember guys to like the video also remember to subscribe to the channel and we will definitely see you guys in the next one bye y'all bye y'all